Hey everyone, Nick Sabicki here. I want to take a quick minute to make this video just to tell you guys some things very directly. Uh, first, which again is just my always continued thanks for watching my channel and supporting the videos and you know spreading the word. Uh, this past month, I guess, or about a month ago, we hit over 6,000 subscribers, which is amazing and never thought that would be even possible when I first started making Go Lecture videos on YouTube. You know, I was excited when I got, you know, 100 or 200 views uh, and to have, you know, 6,000 of you actually actively waiting for a new video to come out is just amazing and uh, again just thank you. Uh, a couple just notes I want to you know promise you guys for that. Uh, YouTube has annoyed me about wanting to put commercials on my videos because apparently they're that popular. I mean but they're you know I keep getting a little notification you should monetize your videos and the first thing I just want to say is no I don't really believe in doing that at least for my Go videos in particular because uh, you know I had a Go teacher when I was just starting really learning how to play Go and uh, he made it very clear you know, that he wanted to teach Go because he believed that would actually further the game. His whole motto was pay it forward. Uh, this is Jeff Chevelle. Jeff, if you're watching this, man, I mean, here's here's the work that you have instilled in me, you know, many years later. So again, I hope for you guys, too, that you guys are watching these videos um, and getting, uh, you know, your own your own Go confidence and skill sets and uh, you can go forward and, and, you know, teach more people how to play Go and pay it forward in your own way. Um, so again, I'm not really trying to use you guys to make money. I already have a day job that I'm, I'm gainfully employed, so that's all good. Um, but, you know, I do, I do ask that, you know, if you are taking these videos, you do take, take a moment to yourself to think, hey, uh, you know, how can, I, how can I repay this to society? How can I further the great game of Go and, uh, and, and keep it going? So I do place that burden upon you, I guess, um, you know, I hope it's a, it's a burden you guys will choose to bear. Uh, I mean, it's been a very rewarding, personally rewarding one for me to continue on, and, you know, I just hope other people take it up as well. I do have a little cheat sheet notes here of things today I want to talk about. Um, a couple other things, just a quick shout out to Reddit. I'm not sure how many of you guys are on Reddit, um, but I know there's a pretty popular Reddit, Reddit Baruch page that has about, oh, three or 4,000 readers and any subscribers, I should say, at any given time. Um, it's just a really good place to post cool things you find about Go for the Go community. Uh, if you're not on Reddit, that's fine, but, you know, if you aren't on Reddit and you want to explore the Baduk page, I mean, that's great. Um, I know the, the people on Reddit, a lot of them are fans of my videos, so I get a lot of free publicity from them, um, you know, which is great and awesome, and, and I'm part of that community too, so I actively post and, and uh, comment on things there as well, and so should you. So, you know, if you want a place where you can talk about Go with, you know, a couple thousand other people on the internet, and it's a pretty, you know... I don't want to say low bar community to enter, but I mean, it's not like you need to be a Don level player to say anything. I mean, any skill level is encouraged to, you know, make a post or make a comment and, you know, offer your own insight or links or something to something cool. Uh, if you bake a birthday cake with a Go theme, I mean, that you want to post that on Reddit. I mean, you'll, it's, that's the place to do it. So uh, if you want a place to talk about Go, I mean, Reddit's really cool. Uh, some of you have watched my last video with Andrew Jackson. Uh, Andrew and I have been friends. Um, Andrew, uh, him and I have been friends probably for about four or five years at least. I'm not really sure. Andrew will probably be able to tell you better than that. Um, but he also recently moved to Seattle uh, just a couple years ago, and uh, and that's you know where I'm living. Um, so we see each other a lot more now. So we're we're probably going to be doing hint hint a few more collaboration videos in the near future. Um, we're we're going to try some more experimental kind of things, not so much just me videotaping my regular class. Uh, but anyway, just look forward to what that's all about. Um, probably within a couple weeks, we'll probably put up the first one. Um, I do want to give Andrew a special uh, moment in the sun here and advertise his YouTube channel. He's just really starting out making a YouTube channel for his Go class that he regularly teaches at the Seattle Go Center. And, uh, you know, even though he won't admit this on, on camera, he is a little bit stronger of a Go player than I am. So, I mean, you really should take what he has to say uh, to heart. Anyway, I'll put up a link. It should be already on the screen. If you can't see it, something's wrong. Um, but a link to his channel. Please check him out. Please give him support. Uh, he's still at the, the very exciting, nascent stage of, of uh, you know, putting materials online where if he gets 100 views on a video, he's super excited. Um, I saw him two weeks ago when he had about 150 subscribers, and he was just bragging about it, too. He's like, look, look, look. So anyway, if you want to make Andrew really, really happy and really, really excited, you know, go watch a couple of his videos, go subscribe to his channel, uh, and he'll just feed off that. He, he is also gainfully employed. I don't think he's really looking to make money off any of this stuff. Um, but really, we just want to spread the love of the game, and, uh, and you know, hopefully you guys want more of that. So please check out Andrew Jackson's channel. Uh, yeah. 
All right, a couple other things. Uh, a lot of a lot of your comments recently have been about my Sandbagger series, um, where I just go online and I play a game usually late at night and uh, make comments while I'm playing. I am going to be continuing doing those. Uh, you know, again, I already teach a class once a week on Go that I just videotape. Um, the Sandbagger series, it's not like it takes that much more effort for me to just play and comment on a game that I'm doing. Uh, it's just that I have a lot of other activities and work, and you guys know how it is. Um, but don't worry, I've heard the comments. More of those will be coming, um, just not as weekly or as regular as the regular class videos. All right, what else we got here? We got, um, so I think that's most of my Go news for right now. I do play a lot of other games, um, and I just want to draw your attention. And I, I, if, if you only care about Go, if, you, if that's all you care about, you can turn off the video here. Um, but I do want to get some feedback from you guys uh, regarding some other directions and things that I'm thinking about doing, and I'm pretty sure are all bad ideas, um, but just let me know. Um, first of which, uh, I, I am going to just continue. I don't really care what you guys say, but I'm going to continue posting... Uh, my top 50 board games every year. I usually do this with my friend Pat. Uh, I play a lot of other games other than Go, uh, and you know I just want to let you guys know what the top 50 are. And uh, I, I'll put up some links to this past year's. Um, maybe I'll even put up a link to the year before so you can see how it's evolved. Uh, but you know these videos, you know, or that's I guess that this series of videos, um, you know, is is just is just a thing that I want to continue to update for many years as more and more in game, more and more social games uh, come out. And, you know, I find myself in a lot of social situations where I'm surrounded by people who don't know how to play Go, and yet I want to play a game with them. So a lot of the games in this series are, I don't want to say a solve that problem, so to speak, but are, are, are more open to that idea of, like, like what do you do for social gaming? Um, not that Go isn't social, but it's a very different kind of social. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say here. Um, so please, you know, check out that video if you're interested in any other game other than Go. Um, I do want to continue updating that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm already, the summer one is actually already out of date as far as my top 50 list. I played a new game just, oh, two months ago that, that will definitely be cracking into my top 20, perhaps even top 10. Um, that I'm very excited about. I won't tell you what it is right now, but, you know continue look forward to that series continuing uh, onward um, a couple other games that I've sort of been thinking about posting um, and I'm not really sure if I should and I guess if you have an opinion this is a great time to go down in the comments and write what you think um, first of all I should just mention I have another uh, channel another YouTube channel that's devoted to X-Wing videos which I really don't update that frequently I really update this one a lot more so you guys are what's important I just want you to know that um, I do have an X-Wing channel. If you care about X-Wing miniatures game, you can go, here's a link, go do that. If not, here's the other things I'm thinking about getting into. Um, I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone. It's the new Blizzard computer digital card game. Um, and I'm fairly strong at it, I would say. Uh, you know, I've, if you guys play Hearthstone at all, I've, I've, you know, gotten scores of 12 in the arena with almost every class now, uh, repeatedly. Um, I don't play a lot of Constructed. I play mostly Arena, and I've become quite adept at it. I've started thinking about doing some, some Hearthstone streams, and uh, just wondering, is there any crossover between the Go community and Hearthstone? Um, another game that I'm really enamored of, um, I'm not sure if I want to do a, a streaming type thing of this, or just some other sort of tutorial, um, but the Sid Meier Civilization series. Uh, I know Sid Meier Civilization Beyond Earth just came out like a week ago, uh, and I've already been playing a fair bit of that. I would say I'm definitely not I don't, I don't have enough experience to claim, claim any sort of expert uh, authority on on how to play Civ BE. Um, but, you know, if there's a lot of you in, out there who are interested in actually, uh, you know, seeing someone play those games or, or you know, even do a little bit of instruction on how to improve it playing those games, uh, you know, drop it in the comments. And if you don't, if you have no interest, you're like, no, this is a Go channel only. Uh, do not pollute it with any other game, period. I already hate that you do the 50 top games. Uh, please let me know that as well. Um, you know, I, I, I certainly see Go as sort of like the pinnacle of what a game should be and what a game can be. Um, but, you know, I like games in general, and there's other games that do some interesting things that Go doesn't. So, you know, maybe you think the same way. I'm going to be uploading a few more videos to this channel just for my own, uh, my own game, King's Forge, which is, uh, you know, it's a dice rolling social more kind of game. Um, it's still a deep strategy game, but there's a, there's a pretty heavy push your luck kind of element to it. 
Um, so I'm gonna be uploading some videos to this channel regarding that. Uh, it's on Kickstarter again right now for the for a new expansion that I'm releasing with the publisher, uh, as well as the second edition of the game. Um, the first edition last year, many of you many of you which supported. I mean, thank you. I mean, the Go uh, the Go community has always been apparently a really big fan of King's Forge. I've been bringing it to the U.S. Go Congress now for the last three or four years, uh, and you know we, it's the thing we tend to do like late at night after we play our morning and afternoon Go games. We play this other game that I've been designing. Um, so anyway, a new edition of it, it's on Kickstarter. I'm gonna put a link up in the video. You know, don't think of this, I know I understand the irony of, I started this video saying that there aren't, uh, this is not, I don't believe in like putting commercials in these videos, right, because pay it forward. Um, and I understand the irony of me now telling you, well, here, here's my game, this is like a, I mean, it's like a commercial, so there's the irony kind of thing. Um, but, you know, if you do like games, and, and this is a game that I design, and I think, I tend to think very highly of, um, you know, check it out. And again, if you don't, that's perfectly fine too. You guys are already great. You're already marvelous. So don't feel like you have to go do anything else you're not already doing other than going and teaching more Go. Uh, so yeah, I guess all I'm trying to say is that there will be some more King's Forge videos occasionally appearing on this channel just for my own purposes, um, my own usage. But I hope that doesn't feel like it pollutes the channel too much away from Go. And I hope it feels like it complements it. Um, again, you know, Thank you to the great community that's been around here. Uh, it's really been just, you know, a joy. Every comment I get from you guys is just like, oh my God, you know, thank you so much. It's, you know, I just want to return that love uh, back to you. So yeah, thanks.